Hello everybody! Uh, so I'm gonna be recording this video now about uh, the upcoming remake of The Witches. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm recording a video, it's because I had to do something today. Um, fun fact, earlier today I was actually trying to make the argument to myself that I was productive today because I listened to a podcast. Uh, so I'm like, you know what, I gotta do something, let me just talk, this is something I want to talk about for a while now. I'm gonna do another video later on Uncharted and updating on Uncharted, but for now I'm gonna talk about The Witches because um, I made a video previously about The Witches um, regarding the fact that Anne Hathaway had been cast as the Grand High Witch and Robert Zemeckis was the director, um, but I think there's... Now that we have a little bit more news and there's more stuff to talk about, um, specifically we have to talk about the fact that the rest of the cast has been announced, uh, kind of, you'll see what I mean later. Um, more specifically, um, the, the film has shot, it's finished shooting, and we have a release date of October 9th, 2020. Um, it is currently February 16, so that's um, 1, 2, February, April, May, June, July, August, September. so that's eight months to go before this comes out. Um, and I think that in about a month or two, we should see a trailer, or at least a teaser trailer for this movie, and then we'll have some idea of what we're getting into. Um, but for now, I want to talk about um, what we're going to get regarding the, uh, the cast that has been announced. So first and foremost, Anne Hathaway will be the Grand High Witch. Um, as time has gone by, I've become pretty optimistic about this casting choice. Uh, I feel like she's going to do a great job when it comes to the mask on Grand High Witch. Uh, I feel like she's going to get that persona down. The only thing I'm concerned about is how good she's going to be as the mask off Grand High Witch when she's covered in makeup. At least I hope it's makeup. It could be CGI. Uh, but the original Witches movie came out 30 years ago, and that makeup still holds up, so... There's no reason not to do it with makeup. Come on. Special effects makeup is a dying art. You, you need to do more of it. Like, you can use CGI for talking mice, but not for the real face of the Grand High Witch. Please use makeup. But we also have some concerns regarding uh, the boy and the grandmother, who are the other main characters of this story, the protagonists. And, um... It has been revealed that Robert Zemeckis and Guillermo del Toro are going to go in an interesting new direction, away from the book, that I'm actually very curious to see how it's going to pan out. So basically what they've decided is they are going to race bend the boy and the grandmother. The boy and the grandmother are going to be black in the story. Which when I first heard that, I thought, okay, cool, Let, let's see... It's not going to affect the story, but, like, that's a cool opportunity. And then what I realized is that that is not... This is not colorblind casting. They're actually going to change the story. Because it says here, um... The Witches tells a darkly humorous and heartwarming tale of a young orphan boy who, who in late 1967, goes to live with his loving grandma in the rural Alabama town of Demopolis. So... This story is being set in 1960s Alabama, not in Europe uh, in the 1980s, as the book was. So, here's the thing. If this story is being set in 1960s Alabama, and the main characters are black, that is going to affect the story. That is not pure colorblind casting. And I'm not entirely sure how it's going to affect the story. It's... It's clear there's going to be an angle that they approach with this, but I'm not really sure what that is yet. And I'm curious to find out. I don't know how they're going to play it. I don't know if they're going to mess it, mess the story up. I don't want to... Because I do love the original The Witch's story, and if they completely forego that to just do it, another story about how racism is bad, then... I don't know. I'm really curious to see how this works. But, so the boy, who, the boy does not have a name, uh, yet, um, he is being played by, uh, a child actor, Jazir Bruno, 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I'm not at all familiar with his other work, so um, let's hope he's good. But what's really interesting is the grandmother will be played by Octavia Spencer. Now this really threw me for a bit because this is a great opportunity to cast someone like Alfre Woodard or uh, even Whoopi Goldberg I could see in the role. But Octavia Spencer is 47 years old and she's going to be playing the grandmother to a character who is seven? Like, I don't really buy that. I would like to stress that Octavia Spencer is a very talented actress and it is not her acting ability that I am calling into question here, it is just her age. From what I understand, Viola Davis was initially in contention for the role, and I could kind of see that, but Spencer... Spencer is, is uh, interesting to me. To cast someone her age to play a grandmother. And in the book, it's explicitly mentioned, I think she's like 86 in the book, and she's not going to live that much longer, which is actually part of the plot and part of what makes the ending so effective. Um, so I don't know what they're going to do with Octavia Spencer if she's just going to be in old age makeup the whole time. The only reasoning I can figure out behind her casting is if they're going to have a bunch of flashback sequences. And for reasons I'll get into later, I do think they may be going in that direction. But we'll see. There is a child actress uh, later down on the IMDb page who's credited as playing young grandma. So maybe we're going to see various points of the grandmother's life. That would be very interesting because the grandmother's past was a very interesting part of the novel that wasn't really explored but was hinted at and was really interesting to like theorize about. So that's cool. In regards to the other cast, um, so child actor Cody Lee Eastick is going to be playing Bruno Jenkins. Uh, Charles Edwards is playing Mr. Jenkins. Morgana Robinson is playing Mrs. Jenkins. Uh, side note, I do think it's pretty cool how, uh, not pretty cool, but I think it's interesting how there is a not noticeable age gap in between Mr. Jenkins and Mrs. Jenkins. I think that's intentional. Like, Mr. Jenkins seems like the kind of guy who would, like, have a trophy wife who's, like, younger than he is and beautiful. And, like, well, it, it's not really about love in that relationship. The Jenkins, for those who aren't familiar with the story, are sort of meant to be the foils to the boy and his grandmother in that this is a family that there's not a ton of love being spread around. And uh, it's one of the things that I don't really like about the 1990 movie because they sort of made Bruno too nice when he was he's supposed to be this like combination of all the Wonka kids, all the bratty Wonka kids. And the parents, it's supposed to be this, I'm not going to get too into it, but for those who haven't read the book, but I, yeah, I hope they play up like the antagonistical aspects of the Jenkins a little bit more and maybe how they're potentially played up. Uh, you know what, I've, I've had my own ideas for how a witch's movie should be, so I'm not going to get too much into that. But what I will say is, there's two other cast members, two other pretty big celebrities who are attached to this project, and neither one of them has a role assigned to them. And they are Chris Rock and Stanley Tucci. And that's interesting. So let's speculate a little bit on who they might be playing. Um... Because Mr. Jenkins is taken, I imagine that one of them is probably playing Mr. Stringer, who is the hotel manager, who in the original film with Angelica Houston, this, this role was played by Rowan Atkinson, aka Mr. Bean. So it makes sense that they would get like a, a likable comedic actor for this part, and I could see either Chris Rock or Stanley Tucci in this role, personally, but because this story is being set in 1960s Alabama and the protagonists are black, I think that they're probably going to go in the direction of having the person of authority be white. So I'm going to bet that Stanley Tucci is playing Mr. Stringer, which honestly works. I think that that's, that casting decision could work. But I don't know who Chris Rock is playing. He does seem like kind of an odd fit with this material anyway. I like Chris Rock. I think he's a great comedian, but he's not the person that comes to mind when I think of this story. So... In terms of characters from the book, I don't really think there's anyone who, like, really fits the description unless he's, like, the chef or something. 
I think Chris Rock is going to be playing someone related to the boy and the grandmother. Uh, and and I my, my guess is that at first I thought maybe he was going to be the boy's father, and then I realized that Chris Rock is actually older than Octavia Spencer, so probably not. Uh, so my guess is that he's going to play Octavia Spencer's husband, that he's going to play the boy's grandfather, and that we, we're going to see him in flashback sequences, and that there's going to be this whole story about how... I, like, I hope he's not, like, alive at the presence of the story. That probably sounds bad, but... There's never any mention of a grandfather in the story, and we can assume that the grandfather is dead. Um, but actually seeing, like, that relationship play out in flashbacks and seeing, like, how it connects to the overall story, it probably won't be a huge role. Um... But I am, like, very curious to see how they how they weave it in. So with that being said, that's pretty much all we know at, at the moment about the Put Out the Witches. We know that it's done shooting, um, and it's in post-production right now, and we're probably going to get a trailer sooner rather than later. So I am very excited for this movie. I think this and In the Heights are my two most anticipated movies of 2020, um, Uncharted, unfortunately, is not coming out until 2021, we found out, but I'm still holding on hope for that. That's going to be really good as well. Um, I don't see a ton of people talking about this movie, but it is... I really hope it's going to be good. Um, I like Robert Zemeckis' films. I know that recently he hasn't made some good ones, but I feel like he does have a lot of good sensibilities as a director, and he's made some very charming childlike films that can really work with this material. It did occur to me earlier that in his adaptation of the Polar Express, the boy was never named. And I wonder if this could also apply to the witches because the boy was never named in the book. And I, it'd be interesting to see if they, if they went the cinematic ap approach of never finding out his name because it makes him a more relatable protagonist. I don't know. I'm curious with how that part is going to be played. Um, and where are they going to go? How are they going to approach this story with this new angle of being set in 1960s Alabama and having a whole race issue going on? I'm curious. And Alfonso Cuaron and Guillermo del Toro are both producing, are both producing this film. That gives me hope. Alan Silvestri is doing the score. That gives me hope. I really feel like this is going to be a good film. Uh, but who knows? At the very least, this film has to do better than the 1991... It has to do better than the previous film adaptation with Angelica Houston, at least in terms of the ending. I've come to terms with the fact that the original 1990 film is a good film, except for the ending. Like... And even then, like, if you don't know how the book ends, like, it's okay. It's like a cute little charming ending. But if you do know how the book ends, and that the book's ending was, like, so much more profound than this, then it, it hurts. And so I hope that we, that we get that ending. And that I, I hope that the ending is, like, supported by the rest of the film, and that it works, and I hope that people like it. I don't know what this movie's going to do in terms of box office or in terms of awards, but I am really looking forward to it. Okay, those are my two cents on The Witches, um, and I will maybe do a video later about Uncharted. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.